Australia just about ready to kick off today's qualifying here in Melbourne. It's the Australian Grand Prix. Here's the finish. Pass ball down here. Now then, let's see, they miss it. Don't get any younger, but you have been involved in your fair share of qualifying sessions. In fact, an illustrious 30 year career. How do you deal with the pressure when you have that one chance to deliver a perfect bat? It's not so much about dealing with the pressure, it's more about how you approach the risk, just how much of it you're willing to take. You're constantly balancing the car on the edge of the grid, breaking the corner in your traction. Over the course of a lap, it's easy to get that balance wrong, and that's why achieving a perfect lap is almost impossible. As you say, you've been doing this 30 years now, and it never gets any easier. Welcome to F1 2019 Career Mode Qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix. Alright. I'm going to have to cut out the uh, part. Alright. Be at a thirty one six zero. Not to come into the pit. Yeah, let's pull in the garage. Twenty-five seven two five. That's my first time lap. That's a good first lap. Going a little slower. That's because I'm getting ready to come back into the pits. See, that's what I just said. I'm kind of coming to the pits this lap. Happy with that first time lap. Got that lap in, and there's like heavy traffic, and I'm coming to the pits. For those of you new to qualifying, if you don't know how knockout qualifying works on any F1 game, we're going to explain how it works. Twenty. This is an 18-minute practice session. As uh, the boys are getting um, Seb's car in the garage, so I'm just going to chill, and here comes the rest of the crew. So, um, so, so we get to, um, have an 18 minute session as they finally turn off my motor. 
Uh, this is an 18 minute session. All cars go out on track. Try to set a best time. At the end of Q1, the slowest five drivers will be eliminated. They will be positioned 16 through 20 based on their lap time. They get a free tire choice since they don't make it uh, past Q1. Then we get a 15 minute session, uh, 15 cars. When the session is over, top 10 cars will make it to Q3 and whatever your fastest lap is on for qualifying, that's the tire you're gonna start the race on. Um, the slowest five will be eliminated. They'll be set 11 through 15 based on their qualifying time. And they two will get a free tire choice. And then the top 10 will duel it out for 12 minutes to see who will start on the pole for the Mars race. Wow, look at the time, 25-7 to a 28 flat. Everybody on the red soft Pirelli compound. Yep. Antonio Giovinacci got bumped by Kubica. And now Daniel Ricardo, who's now out on track, is now at risk of being knocked out of Q1, but it's still early. Lewis Hamilton will probably push Ricardo out. Who just moved up? Roman Grosjean is now 11th quickest. George Russell, Lewis Hamilton. As soon as I say that, Hamilton goes to P2. Ricardo is 12th quickest. That pushes Robert Kubica into the bottom five, puts Kimi Raikkonen at risk. Lando Norris has yet to set a lap time. George Russell and Alex Albon are on a lap time. As soon as I say that, Albon goes to 16th quick and is now still in the danger zone. Pushes Danny Kif and George Russell goes 14th quickest. Pushes Kimi Raikkonen to the bottom five. Danny Kafiat, um, sorry if I'm talking over Jeff. Danny Kafiat is now at risk. Next car to cross the line will be G will be Lando Norris unless Lando is not out on track. Okay, now he's finishing his. Okay, he's starting his lap. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Lando Norris is now on track. 218 kilometers an hour. 313th, so he's about 19th quick in the speed traps. So let's see what his first lap is going to be. So that is the rules of qualifying if you're new to this channel, if you don't know how F1 qualifying works, so you're welcome. Let's see what Norris is. The only, re the only exception if we do not uh, whatever our fastest lap time, if if it rains in qualifying, like when we go to tracks like Spain or Monaco, if it rains during Q1, Q2, Q3, then we get a free tire choice. The only way the top 10 cannot start the race on, on the tire we qualify in Q2 is if it rains hard. If it does, and if it's dry on race day, we get a free tire choice so we can start the tire we wanna start on. 29.6 in Sector 1, 29.11 in Sector 2. He's the only car out on track at, at the moment. We're going to see where he's going to be situated after his first lap. The rookie Lando Norris replacing Fernando Alonso this season in the F1 2019 career mode. Lando Norris, one of four rookies in the field. I'm not a rookie because I made my debut in the F1 2017 game. I replace the guy who's in this career. Let's see where he puts 11th quickest. That shoves Danny Kafiat down into the bottom five. So now, good lap there. So now the bottom five are Kafiat, Raikkonen, Albon, Kubica, no surprise there. Antonio Giovinazzi. These two I'm surprised. Same with Albon. So both Toro Rossos, George Russell is on the cut. Jeez. 
George Russell could make it past Q2 in a Williams car. Explain to me how the fuck did that happen? <laughs> I don't think I need to go out because I have a very good lap. I'm good to go. I can just sit in the garage just watch all these times. Let's see. From 15th to 16th is about 1.4. No, I'm sorry, 1.53. So a tenth of a second between George Russell moving on and Danny Kafiat could be bumped out. Six and a half minutes to go in the Q1. Danny Kafiat is the only car on track. Check with him, see how he's doing. As of right now, he would not make it past the next round of of knockout qualifying. So let's take a ride on board with him and uh, go from there. So his speed is 3.17 still. So see if he can improve his time. Remember, he's in the danger zone. So we're going to have about 5 minutes and 50 seconds left to go in qualifying. I don't need to go back out because I've already set a good lap. That will get me in the Q2. And I'm probably going to try to see if I can try a little strategy. Go on the media 29.8 in sector 1. No, screw it. I'm going to stay. I'm going to just stick with the soft tires. That means I would have a free set. I would have a fresh fresh soft tire for um, for the race tomorrow five minutes to go and I believe everybody should get on, on track 23.9 for Kafiat at risk is George Russell so now we got five minutes to go five minutes left in this session Can Danny Kafiat make up make up a tenth of a second on uh, George Russell? That would be an impressive if George Russell makes it in the Q uh, two in a Williams car. That's something you don't normally see. Let's see. Can he get out? He cannot. Wow, a thirty three six eight. He did not improve. He lost about two tenths of a second. Wow. My gosh, Danny Kafia is in danger of being knocked out of qualifying by a Williams car. And now explain to me how did that happen? GG. That is something you normally don't see. Twenty nine nine, twenty four eight in sectors one and two respectively. Now can Kafiat get his Toro Rosso out? Of course he's driving the Toro Rosso Honda. Red Bull Racing's driving the Honda. And he's coming in. I think George Russell might have just pulled off an upset. And he's going to be in the next round unless somebody like uh, Fiat, Kubica, or Giovinazzi has something to say about that. Verstappen and Vettel have gone out on track. Might want to go out there on track before the session is up. Just get a couple, just get one more lap in. That's going to be surprising. Who will be in the bottom five? For tomorrow's race, we got 50 seconds left here in Q1. So I just ran off the track. Vettel just goes up the third quick. That silver arrow splits the two Ferraris. Let's 
This is the last lap for these guys if they have not started a lap. Remember when the clock is up, time time is up, but the hot laps, if you're on a hot lap, you can go ahead and finish your hot lap. It's like I am not going to improve in sector one, so let's get that right. All right, time is up. Hot laps will count. Qualifying is complete. Well, Q1 is complete, but times will count, however. Yep, the checker flag is out, but hot laps will count. So if you're on a hot lap by the time you've, by the time the clock's hit zero, you can finish your lap. You will not have a chance to start a lap. Looks like this lap is going to... Oh, and I'm about to impede freaking Kubit or Grosjean. I need to just back out of it. Don't I don't want to interfere Grosjean's lap. That could get him out of a Q1. I'll, I'll just go to the... I can just cross the line because I know this lap will not count, will not improve. Some cars are heading the pit road, and if those drivers that are in the danger zone, that is not good news because they've been bumped out. Not going to improve. I didn't need to improve anyway because I'm already advanced to the next round. Look at that cute orange with the black stripes. Look like those stripes. So. All right, who is moving on and who isn't? Of course, I am with Lewis Hamilton, Seb, my teammate, Max Verstappen, Pierre Gasly, Valtteri Bottas. No surprise, the big three teams. Sergio Perez made it in the next round. Kevin Magnussen, Danny Ricciardo, Lance Stroll of all people made it into Q2. Now, why can he not do that in real life is beyond me. Both of the McLarens made it. Both of the Renaults made it. Grosjean made it, and Danny Kefiat made it, which means he outqualified his teammate Alex Albon, who did not make it. Wow, look at the close. 29-7 uh, to a 28-9-8. Wow. And the five people are out is Alex Albon, so Kefiat's outqualified his rookie teammate for the first time. George Russell's outqualified Kubica. And then the two Alfa Romeos of Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi, which means Raikkonen has outqualified his teammate for the first time this season wow not surprised george russell and kubita but surprised george russell starting 18th and kubita is not starting or 17th and kubita is not starting last shocker all right q2 is underway Actually, yeah, let's run with this. I want to save this for the race tomorrow. Put on a set, put on another set of tires. Remember, if you make it to Q3, this is this is the tire you will start the race on for tomorrow's 58 lapper. Here we go, and I'm probably going to get impeded by Hamilton, who's out on soft set. And I just ran off the track. And that's really going to impede my lap, and I hit, and Hamilton hit me. Oh, that's really going to kill me. I have to go another lap, because I kind of butchered Hamilton. Well, that was on his out lap for Lewis. This is really going to hurt my lap. Because I ran wide. Because Hamilton uh, came out of the pits. And then I had to take evasive action going off in the grass. And then when I got back going, Hamilton decided it ran on the side of my car. For some apparent reason. I don't know why, but anywho. That could have been a disaster. Thankfully, it wasn't. Bottas has a 28.9. This isn't going to be a good lap. I'm going to have to run again. Might need to put some more fuel in the car so I can run again and get another lap in. Of course, this race is going to be dry. I know Bahrain and Abu Dhabi will be dry. All 
All right, let's see what this first lap is going to be. This may not be a good lap. Or not, I go up to P1. Going to try to improve my lap just I'm starting to lose ground that's because of the ERS is And at 25.4, so I did improve. Got two good laps on those softs. And I'm probably going to start the race on the soft tire. Keep that red soft tire that I didn't use in Q1. This one right here for the race tomorrow. And this is the tire I qualified on. Alright, we got times on the board. Seb is now P2. Look at that. One, two, three. How about that? Max Verstappen's on the cut. Who's on the outside looking in? Stroll, Grosjean, Hulkenberg, Sainz, and Kafiat are the five drivers in the danger zone. Max Verstappen is at risk of being eliminated. Boy, this race tomorrow is going to be fun. So that should be a good race coming up next week. Or this race tomorrow is going to be exciting, so. Yeah, I'm a little worried about Max Verstappen, the 29.3 to a 29.4. Somebody's going to probably beat his lap time, and that might put Max Verstappen out of qualifying. Tina Ricardo P4. Hulkenberg. Where the hell is Hulkenberg? 13th. Daniel Ricciardo is about to outqualify his teammate. Not surprised see him up there in the surprised he's up there in the top. Not surprised see him in the top four, but surprised see him in the top four with Reno of all people. Bottas is six. Boy. Yep. There's me in the garage. Okay, we have five minutes left to go in this session. And if you are Max Verstappen, Lance Stroll, Grosjean, Hulkenberg, Sainz, and Kofiat, my suggestion to, to you guys probably need to start getting in the Tonight, but again, we just outlined the schedule. 
Yeah, this one's going to be 7 tenths. So, so if I run, let's say, of course, I'm going to have to start the race on this tire, which I've run three laps. Then I got to run this tire, and then I have to use these two tires right here. I'm probably going to go with the medium tire to go to the end of the race tomorrow. Let's just make this a little easier. So, because I have to use the medium and the hard tire, I have to use the two sets that Pirelli has given me. Plus, I'm going to have to use my Q3 tire. Which I make it to Q3. So did Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton. Seb is fifth, fourth, excuse me. Bottas, Pierre Gasly, Kevin Maxson, Daniel Ricciardo, Roman Grosjean, and Nico Hulkenberg made it. So the big three teams, no surprise there. Both Haas and both Renault cars made it in the top ten. Which means Lance Stroll out qualifies his teammate uh, Sergio Perez, but both Racing Points, both McLarens, and Danny Cafiero is out. Lando Norris out qualifies his teammate Carlos Sainz. All right, now I get to use my Q3 tire. Remember the Q3 tire? I have to return it after this session, so I'm gonna have to give it the best I can. Hopefully I don't get a delay, and I do not, thankfully. Get about 30 kilos of fuel in. Want to make sure I'm on my... Let me restart the session. I want to make sure I'm starting on the tire that I'm supposed to start on. Let me double check. No. I need to be on this tire because this is the tire I need to give back to Pirelli. They're trying to give me my fucking Q1 tire. I'm like, hell no. I want my freaking Q3 tire. I was like, wait a minute. I need to check some real quick. So, there we go. Ah, I run off the track. Yeah, I need to be on my Q3 tire because that's the tire I need to give back to Pirelli after the session. Alright, first lap. There, I've caught both ass. Seba 28-2. I had to run wide and not run in the back of the Mercedes of both ass. I need to be on that Q3 tire to begin with. So that's the tire I need to be on. I just want... Oh, we made contact! Then there I go! Go to the garage. Might have hurt those tires. I got front wing damage as a result. But, but I might have went faster in the speed trap. How's the weather for tomorrow? Weather looks cloudy, but nice way to start. Okay, everybody's made a lap. Uh, wow, Seb fell down the six. Gee, I'm in a Christmas, Seb. The fuck happened to you there, mate? Looks like I'm about to out-qualify Seb. Unless he gets his ass up here. Alright. 
We should all be back out on track. This is the final lap of... I'm gonna run a couple of more laps. Botas versus Staffan and I. We are the top three with me leading the way. Botas second. Verstappen third. The two Mercedes are back out on track. It may or may not be pole for Mercedes today. Oh, it don't matter because the race is glad qualifying. We got qualifying in before the rain came. This lap will not be good enough, so I'm going to have to go one more lap. Surprisingly, nobody's taking out the bollard. Last chance. This is going to be my last my last lap. Regardless, cannot improve. I think I might have damaged the tires pretty badly with that spin in turn one with ball tasks. Unless I'm. Unless ball tasks or Verstappen have something. I think I might have just taken pole for the opening race tomorrow. Now you know, Seb's got a challenge. One. That's the session. Does not look like I'm going to improve. I don't know if anybody else is. And not only that, I've outqualified my teammate Seb, regardless what happens. Unless Seb wants to get on the front row for me for the Morrow's Grand Prix. Doesn't look like I'm going to get it, but I think I've gotten the pole. Yep, and I got the pole for the Warriors Grand Prix. Wow, and Seb is on the front row. It's a Ferrari front row for the Morrow. So I've outqualified my teammate Seb. Valtteri outqualified Lewis. He's down there in P5. Wow. Verstappen outqualifies Gasly, Hulkenberg outqualifies Ricardo, and Magnussen outqualifies Verjean. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the race. But goodbye from Melbourne.